all of you folks out there knew Jed Allen as Don Craig on Days of Our Lives. Well, now he's portraying the patriarch <clears throat> on the daytime drama Santa Barbara. He's also very knowledgeable about wine, and he's here today to give us all some valuable tips on how to store it. So please welcome Jed Allen. Welcome. Oh, yeah, that's it. Give yourself some... Look at old, uh, I'm now a patriarch, would you believe Yeah, that? you've got a lot of gray hair. Overnight, lot... I turned gray and old. Not overnight. It's been about 13 <laughs> years since we first met, and it's we good. both started out with dark hair. You look like my younger brother. Something, uh, thank you. Something else we share in common is a great love of wine, mm -hmm. and I know that you consider it to be very much alive. Tell oh, the folks yeah. about well, it. it's alive because it reacts to stimuli like we do, like to light and to heat and to vibrations. And Wait a minute, like vibration? That. Everybody oh. knows about light and heat, but how does the vibration come into it? Oh, vibration. Well, if it shakes up the sediment, especially in a red wine, or it even might even loosen the cork. So you got to be very careful where you store it, like not too close. To, with a fat lady you're singing or something. I got know. it. You got to treat it with a certain degree of delicacy. Very delicate. Very All right. Well, quiet. let's explain for the novices out there how light and heat do affect wine. Okay. Light creates heat naturally, so you have to have it in a special place, like in a wine cellar or something. And it should be stored, both types, red and white, at 50 to 55 degrees of, uh, of heat. And uh, th all the time. Otherwise, it, 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 it ages prematurely. If it ages prematurely, it'll reach its peak too early and then die off too early, become vinegar very quickly. I got you. Is there a special way in which you should store the reds and the whites at different levels? Does that come into effect? Well, no. You should st well, the, 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 the white should be at the bottom because it takes a uh, shorter time to mature, so they should be lower down. Where it's uh, cooler. Where it's cooler. That's mm -hmm. right, near the bottom. So that's about all for that. But they both still have the same kind of temperature. And then you get a wine rack, and, you know, you put your wines in, so you make sure that they lay this way so the cork stays moist. Why is Always that? Well, because if it doesn't stay moist, it'll dry up very quickly, and, and air shrink. will get shrink, and air gets inside, again turns to vinegar, so it's not much fun. It doesn't so heat, taste very good. Heat and air are mm -hmm. two of the enemies of fine wine. Mm, dreaded enemies. Okay. Now, what do you do when you're going to be serving wine? Is there a special temperature? You want to have the, wine, the white wines rather cool, Yes. Correct? White wines should be around 55 degrees Fahrenheit, but sometimes when you, you know, like when you take them out of the, the when you take them out of your wine cellar, it's fine. But you don't always have a wine cellar. Sometimes you take it out of your house and it's, it's laying there and it's, it's room temperature. Right. You should take the red wine and then you... The white wine. The white wine, rather. And you put it into a... A bucket of ice like that and you just let it cool off for about 10 minutes and it's regular, ready to go to drink. Okay, now you're pulling out a bottle of red wine. Red it's wine. It's at the same temperature. It's at the same temperature. So what you have to do is get it up to my room temperature, which is about 65 degrees. You take that, you put it into a canister or a, a large... There's no ice yeah. in that one. No ice. It's warm water. Warm water. And you leave that there for about five minutes. It should be just ready to drink perfectly. Speaking of drinking, mm -hmm. that's one of the things I love to do. And I have some lovely all-purpose wine glasses here and red and white wine. Which would you prefer? I prefer red. Okay. Then I will join you in some red wine, but we could use white, of course. In the same glasses, too. Yeah. For all-purpose. Now, when we're drinking red wines, mm -hmm. you should hold the glass by the bowl in order to warm it up a little bit. That's right. That's, exactly. That's why we have such a nice round cup at the bottom and why it's so wide on the top so we can breathe a little bit too. Mm-hmm. That's lovely. Yeah, and notice the glasses curve inward at the top so mm -hmm. that allows the bouquet to gather there mm -hmm. and just do wonderful things to your nose. God, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, and you're, Jed, it was great having you with us on the show.